Hi, I'm Mike Roth with the Roth team at Shore West Realtors. Thanks for watching our uh, real estate video blog today. Um, I'm here with John Hugo from the National Bank today, and our topic is uh, what's the difference between a short sale and a foreclosure, uh, and how would this affect me if I'm selling my house and I want to buy another house, say, down the road? I'm asked many times from seller clients, you know, that are going through tough times these days and they're potentially behind on their payments and well, what what's the difference between a foreclosure and a short sale? Let me explain that first and we'll talk to John about their financing options. First of all, a foreclosure is where the bank actually takes the property over and uh, it's a quite lengthy process. It could take as much as six months to a year and they end up foreclosing on the property. Um, a short sales where the seller actually tries to sell the property before the foreclosure is up and then we get the bank to agree to take a lesser amount. Uh, in many instances that might be better long term for the seller to get financing on the new house. So that's why we have John here today. So John, if a, se if a seller is going through a, let's say a short sale or a foreclosure, how long would it take them to let's say be able to get financing, reestablish credit on those two instances. All right. Uh, lenders look at those differently, short sales and foreclosures. Foreclosure being the worst. Uh, conventional loans traditionally require seven years before you can get financing again. FHA, federal, uh, federally insured loans, uh, make you wait three years. So you're better off doing a short sale in that case. If you did a short sale, uh, you could wait three years uh, through uh, conventional loans, actually two to four, depending on if you have extenuating circumstances or not. FHA uh, could wait as little as two years. Wow, and so it is a considerable difference, a couple of years, uh, if they do the short sale versus the uh, foreclosure. Correct, correct, and depending on how, uh, how negatively, negatively it affects their credit, right? Um, also, uh, whether they've uh, reestablished credit, and again, Investors all look at whether they have extenuating circumstances, right? Something happened, uh, job loss, things like that. The circumstances can't be that uh, the house is worth less than what they paid for it four years ago. Sure. Yeah, so if you have any questions about, uh, you know, perhaps you're in this situation or you know someone who is in this situation uh, and they can't sell their house for what it's worth, give us a call. We'd be more than glad to guide you in the right direction. and. If you're looking at financing a property and you've been through this situation, give John or myself a call and we can maybe help you out. So hopefully that information will help you or somebody in those situations. And uh, thanks and have a great day. Thank you.